everybody, welcome to the Big Island of Hawaii. Welcome. <laughs> <laughs> beautiful black sand beach in Hilo, Hawaii. All right, so let's get out there, go under and see what she's like. Didn't bring my snorkel gear with me, but we're going anyway. Shaka Taco in Captain Cook, Hawaii. Now, Brenda got the Asada Taco, and I got the Fish Taco. Now, what's really neat is, it's on their Fish Tacos, they have actual sushi on the top of it. It's delicious. Mmm. That's good. volcanic fields from past lava flows. Still very nice, but a lot drier on this side. Okay, go ahead. Oh. Sorry. I don't, I don't know too much about it, but oh, okay. <laughs> there are um, some burial grounds um, back that way. There's some burial grounds, um, quite a big area. Um, people came across some bones that they ran tests on, and um, they go back to 
uh, our ancestors and um, Hawaiian um, elites. So they got it all marked off. Um, What's the name of the beach? Down here is the green sand beach. That's the beach that you folks are going to go visit. Oh, okay. What's the Hawaiian name for it? Um, Papukule. Papukule. Thank you. Make sure to take the shuttle. You get to ride in a 4x4 four four with the locals. They're going to take you down to the green sand beach, back up again. They have young Hawaiians that watch you when you're in the water, making sure that you're safe. It is so worth the value at any price, but you are supporting locals. It's a blast. There are 90% to get stuck because all of this is um, clay and volcanic ash. So the real, really deep puddles, if you don't have your momentum going through it, you will sink up to your axles. Charge to pull them out. 300. That's not too bad when you figure it's 2,500 for a record. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> See, but I am not nice about it. Especially on that last rock crossing we came out, they get stuck on there, I'll just yank them. Yeah. I'll just yank them. So you we gotta had, make money too. Well, know? they're really not supposed to be driving back here. This is all Hawaiian homelands, yeah. But we can't tell them no, and we can't tell them yeah. It's just there's so much cultural artifacts back here that it's not marked oh, off or anything. Now I see what you're. I don't want to get stuck in it. Hold on, guys. water just keeps breaking it down, break it down, and then she's got the green sand. There are four green sand beaches in the world. Biggest one right here where we're standing. The other three are in Norway, the Galapagos Islands, and Guam. We just came from the green sand beach. Now a couple tips to make it a little bit more enjoyable for you. It definitely lives up to its name. Is this first, look into taking the shuttle. It's around $20 a person there and back. Walking it takes about an hour and a half each way. But rental cars are trying to make it down there even if you have four by four. These vehicles they take down there are modified. So to get pulled out, $300 and uh, 2500 for a wrecker in that area. So, but like I said, you, you're gonna have the insurance of the locals and uh, be supporting the local economy, which is really important here. Thank you, thank you everybody for coming along with us on this journey. Thank you for joining us and spending your time. If you did like what you saw, please hit that like button. We'd also appreciate you subscribing and don't forget to ring that bell for notifications. 
Also, please leave us comments. Let us know what sights you've seen. Thank you. Thank you very much. Aloha.